Okay, well, we are live. I'm trying to figure out how to get Instagram to go live. I'm pushing the go live button. Doesn't seem to be going, so I will ignore the Instagram part. Hey, I'm Alice Keeler. I have co-authored a book, whichever direction this goes, of 50 Ways to Engage Students with Google Apps with my buddy. Nope, this way. <laughs> Lyot. She's the expert on student engagement. I'm super into student engagement. And of course, I love Google Apps, love using Google Apps. And we're talking about choice boards today. So one of the things that we have in the book, it's of course, one way to engage students is choice boards. And I created an add-on just for the book called Hyperlink Slides Choice Board. So I've made a few updates to it. So I'm excited to share those updates. For anybody who is watching, I'd love to know where you're from. And any other comments you have, just go ahead and put them down there in the chat. I'll be checking that. It's just me today. Of course, I just do these like at the last minute and I text out to whichever last 10 friends that I have texted. Hey, why don't you jump in and join me and everyone's busy today. Uh, so that's okay. It's just me. I'm going to share my new features and some updates that I have that I hope that you will really like. Hyperlink Slides Choice Board is free for you to use. It just makes making a choice board in Google Slides really simple. So the first step you need is a Google Slides, of course. This actually works with any Google Slides. And what it's gonna do is take whatever is on your first slide and create linked slides from it. So let me show you how quick and easy that is. I'm gonna switch over here. Let me, let me add this. There we go. I have a Google Slides. It's just a regular Google Slides. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a blank slide. And I'm gonna add a I'm gonna add a shape. Did you know that shapes are text boxes? So I just like I just make the shape and then I can start typing. Like I don't have to like click on it once I make the shape. So I make the sh shape. I'm gonna say choice one, and I'll make a different shape. Make that one choice two. And I will insert another shape. That one's choice three. Okay, so do you just need stuff on the slide and it doesn't even have to be like I'm using shapes you could use a regular just text box choice four or you can insert a picture um I'll do for my camera okay right so anything that's an object on there it's not on the background which is the hack right if you put stuff on the background then it won't make a linked slides for it so I do recommend you jump into Canva and make the background look really nice and super cool. Okay, so once I do that, I just go to the extensions menu. You want to have already installed Hyperlink Slides Choice Board. If you don't have it, just go to add-ons, choose get add-ons. You can just type in Alice Keeler. I have 28 add-ons, so typing that in should find all or most of them, and you can install it. So you're gonna install Hyperlink Slides Choice Board, and you can see if you've used it before that I've done a few small updates to the menu. Not like it's really that exciting, but running the choice board is just gonna take any object on the slide, picture, text box, shape, and there you go, it already did it. It makes a slide for every object. So remember I had five, uh, I have five choices. This seven, slide seven doesn't say choice five because it was a picture and it didn't have any text on the picture. So that is the choice. I'm gonna delete these so you can see it again because it it's super fast, right? So I go extensions, hyperlink slides, and just run the choice board and like poof, it just makes the slides. But cooler than that is that the slides, the shapes are now hyperlinked. So now if I go here, it's slide three, it goes to the choice one and I come back here. It's going to go to choice slide seven. So it automatically links them and you can even drag them around in different orders. It won't really matter because it links to the slide ID. So this is still going to go to slide two. And then I have this little, it's actually an arrow, but it, I was like, maybe it looks enough like a house uh, to take you back to the home slide. So they all have that home slide feature. So that's, that's what we've had and that's what's been in there this whole time. Again, I'm going to delete these. I'm going to show you a, one more option that's been there and has always been there, hyperlink slides. Now, remember it said choice one, choice two, choice three on the slides because those were the text on the shapes. 
if I choose that one, the other one, then it just takes you to a blank slide. So you can design this completely from scratch. And I highly recommend that you go view and theme builder to design the background of what it looks like when they link to it. So you can create your whole choice board with consistent backgrounds. Okay, I'm gonna check and see if we have any comments. Hey, Tom, thanks for joining in. Excited to see you. Uh, you know, Big Jam, you know I love Big Jam. There's a lot of positives about using it. And so sometimes we use Big Jam, sometimes we use Google Slides. So if you're using Google Slides, this is gonna be a good choice for you. I hope that you really like it. You know, and that's free. So it, I, you know, I'm a credentialed teacher. I'm a Google certified developer. I hope that that gives me some credibility that I don't want your data. So I collect no data. It, I'm safe. All of my add-ons, I collect no data. I don't want your data. And I just really want to create teacher solutions that they're all built around that. So they are all safe to use. My privacy policy is I don't want your data. I don't, I don't have it. I don't use it. Okay. So what is new? I'm going to go ahead and delete these slides. One new thing that I have, let's just get straight to what's exciting, is I have some game boards. So in the extensions menu, I choose game boards. I go Jeopardy board, and it's going to insert into that first slide a Jeopardy game board. Now, all this is is rectangles with text on them. So it's going to allow you to then hyperlink slides choice board, run the choice board, it's going to link all of that up automatically for you. So if you've ever wanted to do a Jeopardy board, you know how pain it is to do it from scratch. I'm sure you use a template that someone else has created, but this actually makes it in any Google Slides. All right, if I go to slides.new, so I'm in a brand new Google Slides, and I hyperlink slides choice board, and I go to game boards, and I do the Jeopardy board. Okay, cool then it's going to just put it in any slide. So you don't like, where was that template? Where do I find it? Well, it's just in Google Slides. It's right there for you. And again, coming in and just choosing to run the choice board. It's working. It's thinking about it. And it's got a lot of them to make. It's just going to show up. Sure enough, here we go. So it's got the different values. And over here, I'm like, category four for 300. And this should be hyperlinked, and it is. And it takes me to that slide. And then this one goes back. Now, of course, I would do this in slideshow view. I just don't want to lose. Uh, the, I don't, I'm not sure if it would show up, honestly, if I go to slideshow while I'm presenting. But it's really that simple. All right, what's the next one I have? Let me just do a slides.new. And this one is game boards is trash kickball. And so that's where the students, if they get it right, they get to ball up a piece of paper and throw it into the trash can. So it's Jeopardy. It's actually the same idea. I'm going to go ahead and run this. I can do is run choice board or no text because there's no text on these images. But it creates a linked slide for each question. So the student would pick, okay, like this basketball. Here's the question. If they get it right, they get to scrunch up a piece of paper, throw it in the trash. Who doesn't love that? That would be fun. Now, I would love to know what other game board templates can I pre-make for you? Hey, Roberto, mi amigo. Thanks for coming. My friend from Peru. Him and his wife, mis amores. All right. So, uh, yes, I would love to know what other game board templates I could just pre-populate for you using hyperlink slides choice board. I got a couple other features. Hopefully you're thinking this is pretty easy. Slides.new. Now I do have a few premium features. So if you are a premium member, alicekeeler.com slash membership, you can enter a passcode. I email that passcode to you every week so you can gain access to these premium features. So I'm gonna choose default choice board and all that's gonna do is just kind of get you started you need some shapes that say choices on it on the first slide. So there we go. So here's just six choices, extensions menu, hyperlink slides choice board, run it, and it's going to make six linked slides. There they are. So you can put design all your choices on there, and then they can come back up to the top. All right, Cindy. Oh, Cindy, I'm so glad that you love Jeopardy. I know we all do. So if you're a Google Slides user, I got this for you. Now, Cindy, I also know that you're a Harry Potter fan. So if you want to think of how I could 
make something wizardry as a template. I'd love to do that for you. Get some. I know I've made some different Harry Potter things for you in the past, so we'll we'll think on that. All right, and then I'll just make another one. Slides new. See how easy this is. I go to extensions, hyperlink slides, choice board, and I'm going to come down here to the premium membership, and I have choose five. This is actually from the book. Let me see if I can get myself out of the way this way. So Heather Lyon and I co-authored the book, 50 Ways to Engage Students with Google Apps. So we have 50 templates and 50 things in there for you to work on to engage students. And one of the ideas that we have is this choose five. So it's a choice board, but they can't just choose five easy things. So they can do, uh, it's for easy, medium, and difficult. And they can choose from any one of these nine choices that you have, but they'd have to choose five. So if they at least do like a medium one, right? Uh, can't do all easy problems out of the choice board. So it just sets you up really quick. And then I have one more. And again, I would love your ideas of what things I can add to this that would be helpful. Premium membership, I have Jigsaw. And I, need, I noticed that when I did this, I didn't, yeah. You can see it's right up against the left. I'll fix that so it nudges it over here to a little bit. But what I want to do is to be able to, oh, did I run it already? Uh, what I wanted to be able to do is that students would choose their group. And so when they're in group three, and then they're going to design their slides from here. So all of your student groups are doing their presentations in the same Google Slides which makes it really easy, like group one, give your presentation, and then it rolls into group two to give their presentation, and it rolls into group three to give their presentation. So making that jigsaw effort presentation a little bit more seamless because you only have one Google Slides. All right, so those are my new features. Uh, I hope that you think that it's easy to use. I have a couple other features that are in there. Let me just show them to you really quick. It says more features. So if you're using Slides Mania, I like Slides Mania. Those are free Google Slides templates. But what she does is she deletes all of the layouts. Uh, Paula deletes all the layouts when she creates them. And so uh, this accounts for that, that it's going to pick whatever the second layout is to help make sure that uh, it works with those templates. So if you're using Slides Mania, that's running the, the choice board, but with the Slides Mania template. Add transparent rectangle. What that's going to do is make it so that the slides, when you click on them, they link back to themselves. So it does it automatically. So look at this. I'm going to click add rectangle. And there should be, once it goes, come on. It's going to do it all once. Okay. So now notice that when I click on the slide, it's got a clear rectangle over the whole thing. And right, I can move that. And it is hyperlinked. See it? Move my slides. Come here. Speaker notes out of the way. Right. It's linked back to itself. So this is slide three, and this links to slide. Let me do this again. Click on it. It links to slide three. So if the students click on the slide, they won't advance to the next group. So it keeps them right where they are the next choice. You would want to, when you do that, though, go to hyperlink slides choice board and oh, excuse me it's under more features and add the home button so that the home button is on top of the transparent rectangle otherwise the home button is behind the transparent rectangle which you can obviously see why that would be problematic they wouldn't be able to return back to the home slide Ooh. oh you know what this has a slight problem so i'm gonna fix that i'll fix that so it's good it's good when i go live then i can see what typos that i have Yay, Cindy, thanks. I'm glad that you love it. Um, she's also excited about my Harry Potter. We're going to come, we'll come up with something. We'll come up with something. All right, so that's it. You just need to install Hyperlink Slides Choice Board. It is free. And you just put stuff on the first slide, run it, and it's just going to make links to, it's going to make slides for each object on that first slide. And it automatically does the hyperlinking, which if you've ever done that, you know what a pain it is. Especially, did you notice? When I was trying to show you where that clear rectangle was linking back to, you couldn't see, like it was too low and, and you really couldn't see where it was going. That happens a lot. Like when you 
control K, you want to hyperlink something, depending on how big your screen is, it's like trapped too low and you can't actually get to the parts where you're trying to click. So you have to zoom out, control minus, control minus, control minus. Oh, thanks, Tom. I'm glad you like the back to home button. It, it does work. I, I need to go just check the code because it should always link back to slide one. And so I'm not sure why I was linking them all to slide three. I suspect it's because I pushed it while I was on that slide. So that would be a flaw in my code. So I'm going to fix that. Claire, I'm so excited that you are excited. Uh, it's so fun, right? It, if you've ever hyperlinked, it's not so fun to do. This just does it for you. There's a lot of ways you can hack this to do different things. So I'd love to hear some feedback on how you are creating choice boards or just choose your own adventures or whatever it is that you want to do. Hopefully this will be helpful. And let me know what features or game boards you would like to see. All right, friends, I am, that's it. It was quick and easy. Those are my, my new features. I am, I love to code. So I am going through all my add-ons and adding new features. So stay tuned. AliceKeeler.com slash Coded by Alice is where you can find all of my add-ons. And then just wait, I'm going to find things that aren't working and add new features. I've got 28 of them. So uh, I did two. I did template tab earlier this week. And then I just did the slides choice board. So stay tuned. I've got lots of stuff for you. Would love to hear what features you need. Yeah, it's great to see you. And I hope to chat with all of you very soon. Thanks.